Gypsy Rose Blanchard cannot do anything right, girl. My name is Pearl. Welcome to Little Scary Stories. Come on in, Pearlies. Let's talk about people. And by people, I mean Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Okay, guys. So I, I did a video like this over on TikTok. It was short. But I want to do an extended version for you guys because I, I've got stuff to say. And also, I was being sarcastic. And TikTok does not understand sarcasm. They did not understand it. Anyway. So let me start by saying, okay, Gypsy Rose Blanchard got a dog, right? Pixie. And um, people are saying she got that dog so she wouldn't look guilty. You know she bought that dog so she looked less guilty. The girl is out of prison now. She did her time. She doesn't care about looking guilty or not looking guilty or, sorry, looking guilty or not. Doesn't care. Sorry, I was going into my annoying uh, gossip girl voice. I do this gossip girl voice. It sounds like some old obnoxious lady. I don't know. Anyway, I can't help myself. It just happens naturally, girl. I, I just can't. You might hear a hundred different voices. It's just how I am. Why I do it, I, I don't know. I'm a natural performer. I have no idea why it happens to me. I just, I can't. I've tried to stop, but can't. So I'm just warning you now, girl. Anyway, now the other big thing is that Gypsy Rose Blanchard done married her brother. Good Lord have mercy. <laughs> She's married her brother, honey, because somebody looked it up on Genie.com and found that Private Anderson Blanchard was a sibling of Dee Dee Blanchard. Oh, girl. I think I think basically what happens is that... um. Dee Dee Blanchard now has a son-in-law called Ryan Scott Anderson. So it probably puts in the son-in-law in the genealogy thing. I don't think she married her brother. A cousin, maybe, because they do kind of look alike. And I have to say, girl, you know that man looks like the mother. Let me show you a better picture. You, you wait right there. I mean, they do look alike. In fairness, they look alike. And are they related? I doubt it, but think of this, back in Louisiana, back in the day, like back in the early days, Louisiana was a small town, not a town, but it was a small state, and in certain towns within that state, bloodlines did kind of mix, okay, let's just say there was relatives and relatives and relatives dating each other, okay, let's just put it that way. Um, so yeah, could it be a distant cousin? Maybe, but a brother girl, no, but TikTokers are just running with it. It's her brother, Gypsy Rose Blanchard married her brother. Yuck. Oh girl, please. Now I do find it odd that he does look like Gypsy, I mean, Gypsy's mother, but I don't think she thinks he looks like her mother. I don't think she looked at him and said, gee, you look like my mother. Let me marry your ass. No, I don't think so. I don't think so, girl. I think she married him because she he gives her mental support, emotional support that she needs. And she's, I hate to say this, but I think he's easily manipulated, honey. You can look at him and know he's easily manipulated. And no offense, Gypsy, honey. She'll never hear this. But if she, in case she does, girl, you don't know. I think he's easily manipulated, but that's just me, girl. That's just me. No harm. No, no foul. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not hating. I'm not hating. Okay. So next girl, why did I just yell? Ooh, girl. Okay. Next, the g <laughs> gypsy went and cut her hair, right? And she said, okay, I cut eight inches and everybody, all the, all the TikTokers that are trying to get views and follows are saying she didn't cut eight inches. That girl cut four inches. All right, you're supposed to cut eight inches and you're supposed to go to a salon that is associated with that charity or with that organization. And that is true. You are supposed to go to a, to a salon that is associated with that particular organization. It's supposed to be done a certain way. And from my understanding, you can't really um, give colored treated hair. You have to, it has to be non-dyed hair and it has to be eight inches. From my understanding, maybe this particular um organization so I had to drink some water this particular organization might be different but anyway gypsy said she cut eight inches off she took a picture of it everybody's saying girl you're a liar that's four inches your hair is treated you didn't go to salon you just try to look innocent when you know your ass is guilty again the girl can't do anything and then to to put the I hate to say it but 
to add insult to injury, the girl did put a picture of herself wearing a, a oxygen mask with no hair, saying, "Look, I can identify." Um, mm, that did, you know, because she that does kind of give. I want sympathy, though. That's given I need sympathy, doesn't it? The girl doesn't need any sympathy. I, I'm sorry. Gypsy Rose Blanchard knew exactly what she was doing when she manipulated Nicholas Cotijan, in my own personal opinion. But my field of studies, behavioral science, I do not do it. I don't do it for a living. Girl, I've dropped out. But I know a thing or two about a thing or two, and I still study. And I'm telling you right now, from my own opinion, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only, in my theory and purely speculation, I believe not when she was younger, okay, but as she got older, a Munchausen by proxy victim, or I guess, yeah, that's a victim. A Munchausen by proxy victim starts to realize, hey, something's going on here. At which point the mother probably went to her and said, you know, you need to do this or say that or do that or do the other because she knew the game was up. And I'm sure her mother said, hey, we get money off of this shit. So you need to be this way and do that in order to get this or that and the other. Once a child grows up, it is very hard to pull the wool over somebody's eyes, especially somebody as bright as Gypsy Rose Blanchard, because that girl's no dummy, honey. She might have had a second great education when she went in prison, but she came out with her GED. So in my own opinion, allegedly, and in theory and speculation and for educational purposes only, and can I say allegedly one more time, just in case, I think she was part of the the fraud. I really do. She was part of the fraud because she would have had to have been because she had to act a certain way and be a certain way with doctors. And she was already in her twenties. I want to say more, but I'm teetering on serious, unpopular opinion video here. So I'm going to stop here. I might say more later. We'll see how this video does. We'll see how many hate comments I get, but that's just my opinion, girl. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm saying I have an opinion. It is allegedly, it is for educational and entertainment purposes only, you know, and it is speculation in my own theory. That's what it is. I'm not saying I'm right in any way, shape or form. My name is Pearl. Um, this is Little Scary Stories. If you have not followed me, please do so. Hit the subscription, hit the notification bell, hit the like and please don't give me too much hate. I have my opinion, as I'm sure you have yours. You're welcome to post your opinion in the chat. Please don't um, be unkind to anyone about their opinion in the chat. And I'll see you guys real soon over in the next video. Have a good night. Oh, prepare to be sick of me. Prepare right now to be sick of me.